Welcome to Home Sweet Home. Every week, the best home experts on the Sun Coast reveal their best tips and best tricks for inspiration and transformation. It's your beautiful home hotspot. This week, outdoor living at its finest. With Florida's year-round warm weather, residents understand that outdoor living spaces are just as important as their home's interior. And one of the best ways to take full advantage of this tropical paradise is being poolside. Pools add so much fun, relaxation, and enjoyment to your family and friends' lives. But if you have found yourself walking outside and avoiding eye contact with your pool, it may be time for a renovation. Here to share how to bring your outdoor space back to life is John Krasik and Ben Cook with Superior Pools. All right, so in previous episodes, we've talked a lot about new pools. A whole other aspect of this business is remodels. Something that we do at Superior that's a whole lot different than most remodel companies in the area is primarily we're a new pool builder. So when we go at a remodel, we go at it with the knowledge of building a new pool. So the number one reason people call in about a remodel is over time, the materials start to degrade, things like tile starts to pop off, the interior finishes start to delaminate from the shell of the pool, and that causes irritation in the surface and, and pitting and pores and just an overall dirty look too. Another big problem that people find with pools is the equipment. Everything has a lifespan and the equipment goes depending on what you've you know put in from the beginning five to 10 years is a normal lifespan for most of the pool's equipment. There's a lot of different options material-wise and things like that with remodels. But one of the biggest things that I like to focus in on when we talk about remodels is, at this point, people want to touch this one time and never touch it again. So when you think in that sort of mindset, you wanna use the top materials available so that you get the longest longevity out of it. For instance, with this pool, they, they did what I would call the best materials that we have available right now. On the decking, we did travertine, and you know we like travertine. Uh, it's a natural product. You can power wash this product. You will get mold and mildew in Florida. Mold and mildew is everywhere. But the beauty of being able to power wash, it makes it easy to, to handle. And the beauty, the beauty of this, this pool is four years old. We did this remodel four years ago and the travertine, everything still looks brand new. The surface still looks brand new. So, you know, that really speaks numbers on quality material. You know, in the Florida sun, I tell people all the time, if I sit out here 365 days a year, what am I gonna look like? That sun uh, being on the water, all the algae, all the salt, it really corrodes and things do not last here. Look, I'm out here in five minutes and look how I am. So. You know, it's all about quality materials. When I first came to this pool, I was shocked on how old it was and how it looked. It was probably built in 1980s. It had stains all over the place. It had pits. Uh, the homeowner had uh, kids that were cutting their feet. Every pool that's built is different. There's different edge types. There's different shell types, interior finish types, different things that people want out of the remodel. The biggest things here was we wanted to update this whole thing, make it look much nicer. It had an old beat up cage on it. it. It had just a big pool with no deck space around it. So what we did was change the shape and we added the spa. When we go into a remodel, what we want to do at the end of the day is make this look like a brand new pool. So we don't use things like an overlay coping or something like that that looks like a like it was remodeled. Real quick, what, what is an overlay coping? Can you maybe bend down here and explain what an overlay coping is? Because so many people, when they go to a job, they don't know what an overlay coping is because you're looking down on it. But when you're in the pool, you're looking this way, you'll see that overlay coping. And, uh, and from when, when you're up underneath correct. it, you see the when gap you're underneath it. Uh, relaxing in your pool, you see that. So yeah. we like to explain that to people because once you do it, it's too late. So with our process, this, this is exactly how we build a new pool. You expose the shell of the pool and you set brand new coping on the shell of the pool. That separates, that does two things. That separates the decking from the shell of the pool and it gives you that new pool look. An overlay coping would look about like an L and go over this edge and it's just, it's just like, in my opinion, it's, it's glorified painting. You're just putting a little cover over what's here. 
So again, by doing this, you're gonna get a lot better longevity out of it, a better look out of it, and just a better overall finished product. So another thing on this pool, talking products, the interior finishes are a big deal. 10, 15 years ago, there was only a certain level of product available and that's what's in all of these pools. And it's good for 10, maybe 15 years. And what happens is it starts to degrade. It starts to delaminate from the shell of the pool. You start to get water in behind it and it starts to get pitted in pockets. This pool was full of that before we started. When we went and replastered this pool, we replastered it with a pebble finish. Pebble finishes carry a lifetime warranty. They're realistically a 25, 30 year product. They're much stronger because they have bigger aggregate to hold them together. And this one, this homeowner decided that they wanted a darker finish to get a darker color of the water. Um, you got all different colors to get you whatever color water you're looking for. By adding a spot to the pool, the common misconception is you can just plop a spot over here and it can spill into your pool. You can do that, it is less costly, but the way we like to do it is to make it look like this was built this way. So when we do something like this, we cut into the shell of the pool and we build it all back together so it's all integral to each other. Same as we would do on a new pool. You got your spa, spills into your pool, circulates all the water, and when it's done, it, it looks like a brand new pool. I mean, this thing looks great. Well, again, there's so many different aspects of it. You know, we're, we're talking about the things you can see, but the other things is from your plumbing to your steel, to your concrete, to your curing, to your plaster, to your tile. It's all those things that make the price go up. And so many people just see this part, but it's all the other parts, all the guts of it that make, you know, the spa come to life. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of times what we, you don't think about is around this entire pool shell is where all your plumbing is. So to cut out a section of it and put a spa in there, now we have to replumb the entire pool. And a lot of times like with this one, have to redo the main drain, have to add jets and returns. It's all so integral to each other. It's basically rebuilding the entire pool. So something that we stress when we're building, when we're designing new pools, is if a spa is on the table or an option at all, really consider doing it when you build the original pool. Because like this scenario here, like we talked about cost-wise, this is gonna be three, four times as much to add this later than it would be up front with a, with a new pool. So something that, again, I really stress is if you're interested in a spa at all, do that spa when you build a new pool. It's not as easy as just coming and setting a, new, a spa in later. And you have, when you put it in later, you jeopardize the lifetime warranty of the shell. There's so many things that you can jeopardize over your new investment. So I know I hear you all the time say it is, if you want the spa, spas are anywhere from 10 to 15 grand in new construction. Uh, you know, that includes the heater, automation, includes everything. But we tell people all the time, listen, you know, if you want the spa, you really can't add it later. You can, but it's gonna be double, triple the price. Let's add the spa, let's not get the heater right now because in Florida, you need the heater three, four months out of the year. Heater is about 4,500 to five grand, right? So you're, you're knocking that off. Let's get the hard, hard shell in here. So that's there and then we can add the heater later. So my suggestion is if you're ever, ever thinking about a spa, make sure that you get it when you build the pool. If you don't have the money, there's awesome finance programs out there and do it once and your life will be a lot easier and you'll enjoy your pool very much and your spa. Today, the air is perfect. Inside. from your cooling and heating. Daikin. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's gotta be a kitchen from Eurotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home.
Buying or selling? Home inspections are not only vital when buying, but selling a home too. They can save you money and speed up the sales process. For questions, call Dave Marvel, Certified Master Inspector and Educator at Peace of Mind Home Inspections, a veteran and family-owned company. Smart home technology has come a long way. You can monitor your home from anywhere and create schedules to adjust lighting, temperature, and so much more. Today, all of this can be controlled with one easy-to-use app. For more information, contact Tempest Pro Services, the area's leading technology experts. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. It's no secret that a swimming pool can be a breeding ground for bacteria and algae, but only if not maintained. A pool is a valuable investment. Like all other investments, you want to make sure you receive the most out of it. That's why it is important to keep it running properly. Here to share more is Danielle Krasik and Pat Klein with Superior Pools. The reason we started Weekly Pool Service is because we built these beautiful pools and these amazing renovations and we're not quite sure who takes care of them. So Pat's here today to tell us a little bit about what goes into weekly maintenance. Uh, one of the biggest things about the weekly maintenance is consistency. You know, it's kind of like your car. You want to get your oil changed every 3,000 miles for it to properly run. If your pool isn't properly maintained, it can cause staining. It's going to take away from the life of the pool, how long it lasts. You know, you're going to want to brush your pool once a week. You can never overbrush a pool. You know, that's going to take the chemicals off it. And you can actually get staining up on your tiles from the water level. And if you don't go through and hit that, it's going to be twice as hard to get it off to where it's not going to look good at all. You know, once you get, get the marks up on the tiles, it kind of takes away from the look of the whole pool. And about the tiles too, I know, you know, we talk a lot about we only do saltwater pools. Talk a little bit about what happens with a saltwater pool around the tile area, about the corrosion and kind of that stuff, yeah. which is common to see, but what you guys do to take care of that. Yep. Now with the salt pools, you know, around the tiles, especially around waterfalls here, you know, you'll kind of get a buildup, kind of like a calcium buildup, say. You know, and by hitting it every week, it's not going to allow that to build up to where it's going to take away from the beauty of the pool. Now, one good thing about the salt pools is you're not dumping in liquid chlorine all the time. Okay, so on average, it's one to four bags a year of salt, which your salts broken down, turned into a chlorine based chemical. So you don't have that strong smell. You don't have the itchy feeling when you get out. Your skin's not nasty feeling. You know, you get out feeling really good, kind of replenished. And how do you guys test for that? Do you come, you know, tell them a little bit about what you do. You come in with your test kit. What is it that you do from oh, start to finish when you walk in on a pool? Yeah, the first thing we do is we actually start our timer for our email updates. And then we'd come in, brush all the tiles around the pool. Then we brush the sides, the steps, and the bottom. And you want to always brush it towards this main drain so it gets sucked up down through the filter. And now after that's done, we'll skim the pool as well, vacuum if needed. Then we go through, we test your chlorine levels, your pH levels, your stabilizer, also known as cyanuric acid, your alkalinity, your salt, and your calcium hardness. Now, all these gets balanced each week on the same day. After that's done, then we go through, we clean out your skimmer basket, your pump basket, and your filtration system. Now, we clean our filters every week because by cleaning them every week, everything's gonna flow better. You're gonna have a cleaner pool. I mean, those cartridges are around $125 to replace. You know, the last or the long, the better for the customer. Now, after we clean the filters and everything, once we get the system started back up, is when we would add your chemicals. Now, say if we have to add acid to lower your pH levels, you always pre-dilute the acid. The acid's heavier than the water, especially with a dark material like this, it can sit on the bottom and cause staining. So does that kind of, you know, I've heard a lot about, and obviously when I tell my clients as well, and the difference is it's the same thing with chlorine because it weighs more than water. So it goes and sits down at the bottom of the pool and that's what starts deteriorating the pools as well. And that's why we get a lot of renovations with those, you know, old Marsite materials that are in the 10 plus years old, um, with the, like the guys were talking about the chipping and the hurting of the feet. You know, a lot of times we see chlorine tablet feeders floating around the pool and we know that that's one of the main reasons that that has been happening for them and the other reason why you use salt. So, 
you know, you talked a little bit about like the, the chlorinator and the filter, um, you know, tell us a little bit about why, you know, the pumps and why it's so important to have it on certain schedules and like what it is that goes into it with that, with the weekly service. Yeah, now this time of year during the summer, you want it to run 10 to 12 hours during the hottest part of the day. So a lot of people think you can run it at night, but then with the sun, it sits there, it gets stagnant. So we usually typically run it 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., hottest part of the days. Um, now, during the winter, it would be more 8 to 10 hours. Now, the reason for the runtime is because you actually want your pool water to flip every day, and then you know that your chemicals are being properly circulated. So the variable speed pump is super important for something like that so that we don't have to run it at a full RPM the whole entire day that it's on. Is that correct? Right, yep, because a pool like this, even with a spa, you could run it at 1,950 RPMs. Now, a typical older style pump is always gonna run at 3,450 RPMs. With these new pumps, you can set pool mode for 1950. Then you could actually set your spa mode, say for 2800. So that way, once you use your phone and you click it into spa mode, that's gonna turn your pump into spa mode. And if you have a heater, it's also gonna turn your heater into a spa mode as well. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style or this, or maybe this. Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Buying or selling? Home inspections are not only vital when buying, but selling a home too. They can save you money and speed up the sales process. For questions, call Dave Marvel, certified master inspector and educator at Peace of Mind Home Inspections, a veteran and family-owned company. Smart home technology has come a long way. You can monitor your home from anywhere and create schedules to adjust lighting, temperature, and so much more. Today, all of this can be controlled with one easy-to-use app. For more information, contact Tempest Pro Services, the area's leading technology experts. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's got to be a kitchen from Eurotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. Today, the air is perfect. Inside. Expect more from your cooling and heating. Daikin. What an amazing transformation of this outdoor living area. There was no spa, the pool was stained, and the tiles were chipped. Plus, the pool was too large, which limited deck space for lounging. Whether it's for practical or cosmetic reasons, sooner or later, every pool needs a makeover. And it all starts with a plan. Let's see how John Krasik and Ben Cook with Superior Pools approach a remodel. All right, so we're going to talk about step-by-step -step on how you do a remodel, how we do a remodel. And every single house, you have to visit the house to let the homeowners know their options. Now on this one, we can start off with the step up. It's all about elevation, especially on remodels. So explain uh, what we got to work with here and why we did travertine and not pavers or concrete or something different. With remodels, you know, unfortunately, you're kind of working off of what's existing. So when you're talking about elevations, they're already determined for the most part. We can adjust and fix some bad elevations, but for the most part, you're working with what you got. Um, one of the biggest things is at your doors, your thresholds of your doors, you usually have a step up. Um, and this one didn't have as much of a step up. So by using a thinner material like travertine, you're able to still get it to where it's not above your doors and you still have proper pitch for drainage reasons to get out away from the house. So with a travertine paver that we use, it's 30 millimeters, basically an inch. You can do a one inch paver also, brick paver. Um, but again, when, when you're doing this at this point, travertine is, is the best option for, for a remodel. So let's walk over here and explain because this has three sliders here. So this is your minimum over here. So let's walk up to the next step up. And now if you have a step up like this, you have all the options in the world. Explain that a little bit, B, on uh, pitch, elevations, uh, pavers. So it, it's just, 
you basically on this house inside of this house you have two different elevations so outside you have two different elevations also at this one you got plenty of step up here so you got plenty of room to do whatever type of material over top of the concrete that's existing um, but on this one in particular like i said every every house is different you had we had to take that in consideration that that door is lower than this door yeah, you have to go to the lowest point so if you had only one slide at your house and your normal normal step down from a house to a lanai is four inches so if you got your four inches you can do any type of uh, product on your remodel all right so let's go through a step-by-step -step on what we do when we show up to do a remodel i want you to explain because you sell them you go through it you have the knowledge let me know and let these uh, homeowners know at home that are interested in a remodel first thing is when we come out is is demo um, one of the biggest aspects is demoing out the edge of the pool this pool here in particular had a cast coping around the edge of the pool. So we took that out and we exposed the shell of the pool. That's to adjust any elevation problems and to set the new coping as opposed to using like a remodel coping or some sort of tile work. We strip off all the existing tile and we go through the pool and we demo out any hollow spots in the plaster that are apparent at that time. The next day we come back out and we set all your new elevations by mudding up the shell of the pool and we, we make sure this pool shell is perfectly level before we do any type of new material install. So we set your new coping, we set new tile, and we do any type of other work that needs to be done at that point. Like this one, for instance, we had to cut into the bottom of the shell of the pool, form up the whole spa, and shoot the new concrete for the new spa. Another important step to this process is when, when you set new elevations with your pool shell, your skimmer is a real important piece of the pool. What, it's, what it does is it's going to skim the top of the water. The idea of the skimmer is your water level is in the center of that skimmer. If we raise this pool shell elevation at all, you need to raise your skimmer also. So we go in and we completely remove the skimmer, replace it, and reset it. And that way when this is all done it operates like a brand new pool. Alright so the next step in the remodel is we come out and we do the new decking. There's a lot of pieces to that. Like I have talked about is we're working with existing elevations. When you have any types of issues this would be the point where we're going to address that. So as far as drainage. We're going to come out your pool shell needs to be your highest elevation and we want everything drained away. So we set whatever type of decking you decide to do. This one, we did travertine. And if, if you can see, it all pitches away from the pool. That way you don't have any dirt and debris coming back into the pool. Another thing is that you don't have the low spots where water sits in pockets and settles. After your decking, it, we're starting to get to the point where we finish the pool up. Any type of equipment that you've done on the pool will be done at this point. And it, depends on what you do in the pool determines what type of equipment we use. We typically use a variable speed pump. Salt water pools is something that we think really highly of and like to always go to. Any type of heater or any type of other options and features that you want will be installed at this time. Then we come back through and we, we do the final removal of interior finish. Then the next step is we come through and we bond coat the entire pool. Now the idea of the bond coat is is you're going to prep the old surface of the pool, the exposed gunite, the old plaster that remained, and it gives it a good bonding agent to bond the new plaster to the existing structure. So then we come in and we plaster the pool. Our guys, we, we hand trowel our plasters. We trowel the whole plaster in and that's to really press the pebble into the wall of the shell. We let it set up overnight and we come back and we acid wash the pool to expose the plaster. Same again as if you were doing a new pool. This is all the same process. And why is it so hot out here? What's so different about this pool than the last couple that we've done? I guess those cages really make a big difference down here because it definitely can feel about 10 degree difference. I'm dying. You know, so many pools have cages. Uh, you can get a pool without a cage. There's a couple different things you have to do to pass inspection. You want to talk about that real quick on what you need 
if you don't have a cage to pass the inspection? Yeah, so so all pools need a, some sort of baby barrier device here in Florida. Um, this one has this fence fencing going around it with doors, self-closing, self-latching doors, and then alarms on the doors and windows. So you got options with everything. You could do it, no cage, you could do it with cage, but today I'm feeling like I wouldn't do one without a cage, that's for sure. You know, the cage does block some of the UVs. You know, usually when you have a breeze, you know, it knocks down the breeze, but today there's no breeze. Don't get me wrong, I love building new pools, but remodels, every time you look at the before and afters or even come to this pool, look, this pool is three, four years old, and I still get the excitement coming here because I saw what it looked like before and what we did to it. And us and the homeowners are the only ones to know this was a remodel pool. Everyone else that would come here thought this pool was built two, three years ago, so. Yeah, it's, it's awesome the way that we took this pool going from, you know, the kids cutting their toes in there with the old plaster falling apart and just this big hole in the ground with water in it to something that really, you know, you have the spa, something that's gorgeous to complement this backdrop that they have here, adding some deck space on the side to give them room for their furniture. It just really turned out great. You know, we got the glow in the dark uh, tiles for the kids. Also, they got the automation with the screen logic. So the homeowners called me a couple times and thanked me for the automation and their kids turn on the spa and they love the bench where they can jump off that bench into the deep end. So it's just a whole new atmosphere for them and they love it. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. Buying or selling? Home inspections are not only vital when buying, but selling a home too. They can save you money and speed up the sales process. For questions, call Dave Marvel, certified master inspector and educator at Peace of Mind Home Inspections, a veteran and family-owned company. Today, the air is perfect. Inside. Expect more from your cooling and heating. Daikin. Smart home technology has come a long way. You can monitor your home from anywhere and create schedules to adjust lighting, temperature, and so much more. Today, all of this can be controlled with one easy-to-use app. For more information, contact Tempest Pro Services, the area's leading technology experts. What makes a kitchen great? According to the National Kitchen and Bath Association, a kitchen that is designed well, works great, looks great, meets your needs, and it's got to be a kitchen from Murotech Cabinetry. Functional artwork for the gallery you call home. Thanks so much for joining us on this outdoor living edition of Home Sweet Home. If you would like to watch this episode again or learn more about our experts, visit homesweethomefla.com.